It's kind of light, it's tasty, it's nutritious, but it's still a burger. So, first thing is, take a leak or two. And we're going to sweat these leeks down. The burgers we're making are turkey burgers. You can get turkey mince everywhere, but the burgers, they've got leeks, courgettes, lemon zest. There's plenty of flavour and plenty of veggies. So, really, you can have burgers and have some of your five a day. Now, the key to good chipping is to make sure that all the chips are relatively the same size. So, teaspoon of oil, and this is just sunflower oil. So you just toss the chips in the oil, then sprinkle with paprika, salt and black pepper. I just need to spread them out pretty evenly. Then we're going to put them in a preheated oven at 220 degrees for about 20 minutes, turning them halfway through. Oh, a lovely colour. These need to be cooled down before we mix them into our burger. Now I've got a courgette, which I'm going to grate. Put the courgette in. And now I want the zest of a lemon. Turkey mince, it's very lean. It's good for you. Pop that in. Now, a burger should be a round shape. And the good thing is, you can have big ones because they're good for you. Ooh, that's quite hot. Now, I'm forming these burgers with wet hands because there's no binders, there's no filler in them. It just makes it much easier. Hold on, mate. Well, that's worked out perfect, actually. Look at those. As I live and breathe, it's a burger. I love the way you've got the stripes. Beautiful. Oh, lush. Oh, they're looking good, aren't they? These aren't that far off, Si. And burgers are quite personal. And I think we can be quite inventive with the trimmings for this. I think I'll start off with a bed of relish. Mm -hmm. Has to be red onion in my eyes. Now, that looks like the fattest, juiciest, biggest one, so I'll have that one. Mmm. Avocado. Ew. Tomato. Pinch of salt. We could put mayonnaise on, but, you know, these are guilt-free burgers, so he's a bit of creme fraiche. Pretend mayonnaise. And a little bit of Popeye stuff. Nice. Ho, ho, ho. I'm going to slice onions, and if there's a tear in my eye, it may not just be the onions. It's almost like making, say, a casserole meets a savoury gâteau. So what we do is we get all the elements to the hot pot together, and then you layer it all up like that, and it goes into the pan, and you cook it. Right. You can use chump chops, you can use scrag end, but this is neck, lamb neck. When you're browning meat off, because this is what we're going to do now, do it in batches, because you just want a, a relatively small amount in the pan and then set it aside. Do you know what's interesting, Si? I'm not quite sure what makes a Lancashire hot pot Lancashire. I'd like to think it's the, the black pudding. The lamb. Lamb's prevalent. Yeah, Lancashire, Cumbria, Cumberland. And lamb's kidneys, they're so sweet, aren't they? And... Well, texturally as well, they're very soft. Yeah. And that's the lovely thing about them. And what we've done here, lamb's kidneys, really lovely quality. We've cored them and then we've just put them into quarters. Gravy, Mr Myers. Onions go into the pan. A nice big spoonful of flour. Ordinary flour onto the onions. We'll coat that and cook it for a little bit. I've got some lamb stock here. More flavour now. Some sprigs of thyme. A couple of bay leaves. And a nice big spoonful of Worcestershire sauce. And that's the onion gravy. The pot. Uh, it is hot. So what we're going to do, we're going to butter it. So just smear with butter on the inside. Two, three, four. Beautiful. How easy was that? My mother would have given her eye teeth for that mandolin. Now it's the build. This layer of potato is going to cook in all the juices of the meat. Half the meat. 
now we want about half this wonderful rich onion gravy. Add a layer of black pudding slices. Cover over with a layer of potato slices and as before, a layer of meat. Then more black pudding, then the gravy. But season the potatoes as you go. Dot with butter cubes. That's how you get golden top. Cover with the lid and place in a preheated oven 180 degrees C for 20 minutes. Then take off the lid and cook for a further 20 minutes until the top layer of spuds is golden. But first, we're going to cure the salmon, which is like a rub, a marinade, and it's going to be in there for half an hour before we start to comfy the fish. And I'm going to do pommes noisettes. Now, they're a favourite thing, and basically you take a melon baller and you try and get a perfect ball out of said potato. First off, goes great with salmon, a splash of gin. About a tablespoon-ish. The zest of a lemon. The other thing that goes with gin is juniper. So, we've got some juniper berries. How are you getting on there, son? Well, it, 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 yeah. Just take a few juniper berries, crack them. And scatter those over your salmon. A teaspoon of salt. This will draw moisture out of the salmon. And lastly, a tablespoon of olive oil. I think the moment has come to get my hands in here and just work into both sides of the fish. And this is preparing that said salmon for its oily bath. I love posh food. Now, I need a litre of oil, but basically I need enough oil in this pan for those salmon to be able to bathe, just to be covered. Now, this has to be 55 degrees Celsius. The thing about being a comfy, it has to be 55 when it goes in, we keep it between 45 and 55 for about 20 minutes. It's that precise. Oh, I've got a bit hot. What I'll do is I'll just cool it down with a bit more oil, because these salmon pieces must be covered. Now, you can use this oil again, but bear in mind, everything will taste fishy. I'm going to just blanch our lovely pommes noisettes off and literally just pop them in for a minute, strain them, and then the good bit. What we're going to use is some clarified butter because it's the real traditional way to cook noisettes because they go a beautiful golden colour. It doesn't burn, does it? It doesn't burn, no. It's like a pan full of musket balls, isn't it? Oh, it's superb, isn't it? Yeah. That's us, I think. Dave? Well, the comfy's nearly there. I reckon I've got 30 seconds left on these. They're lovely, beautifully golden, aren't they? Mmm. Shall I start to plate up? Yeah, why not? Why not? I think I'll start off with a little bed of the samphire and sea purslane. And I'll take comfy salmon. It's so delicate now in the middle. My noisettes on there. Tumbling. Simon? Yes, David. Our comfy salmon with noisette potatoes, sea purslane and samphire. Posh fish, chips and mushy peas. Aye. Boom. <laughs> 